How would you define a technological masterpiece? Is it because of the complexity of the system or maybe because of its simplicity of the system or maybe a little of both? This is the latest from Team Zorn. Zorn OS 18, this is the Pro Edition, testing this for the first time. Running this off a live USB stick and this is probably gonna be the safest way to test this if you are a Windows user. So Zorn OS has been around for about uh, what 15 years now Linux based systems come and go there's about a thousand of them when counting all the forks but as they say when you you know play with forks you everything gets forked up as it were so out of those thousand Linux based systems you can count on your hand which ones are good and this is one of them so this is Zorn OS featuring a modified version a customized customized version of the GNOME desktop with all the proper extensions that you need, nothing else to install or break, it's just easy to use. All right, so let's take a look at my system here. And I'm running a Lenovo AMD Athlon 2. Yes, this computer originally had Windows 7. Hey, Lenovo's in Linux, perhaps the only perfect marriage right now in the US of A, sadly. And guess what? No Wayland, you can still use X11. Thank goodness for that. So this machine is maxed out with 8 gigs of RAM. I did upgrade from a hard drive to a uh, SSD drive. Yes, that is definitely going to help. So the computer is definitely from the dinosaur age, but it still works. And Zorn OS 18 Pro, even off a live USB stick, isn't too bad. It really isn't. All right, let's continue. So I said this as a modified version of the GNOME desktop. Once you install this, there's no terminal commands you need as in Ubuntu to make it more user friendly, not required here. So the taskbar, the panel has been customized for some extra goodies, some extra shortcuts. And here we are, we are using about, uh, well, 2.1 gigs of RAM off a live USB, uh, USB stick is not bad, really. Let's go back here, we'll right click. And we can change this if we want to go to taskbar settings. Now, this is something you really cannot do in Ubuntu. Position, and let's put the panel to the top, where I usually like it on a 50-inch TV. You don't have to do that, but it works fine. So the usual shortcuts here, time and date, power, volume, microphone settings, night mode, and all that, English keyboard. I did install simple screen recorder using the terminal. I know what you're saying, Windows user. Oh, geez, here we go with the freaking terminal again. You do not have to use the terminal to install apps on Zorn OS. So relax, sit down, have a beer. It's not that bad. Like I said, I did install simple screen recorder. Hopefully this is lightweight enough to run and not sputter running this off a live USB stick. So as I stated, you can right click some extra goodies here. We'll take a look at the Zorn appearance at this because that's where this one shines. All right, so simple screen recorder, the software center, and this here, this will probably be the preferred way for a Linux newbie to install software. There are other ways, but if you want to keep it simple, use this now. This is probably, it's going to run a little bit slow off a USB stick. It's not the fault of Zorn. Again, I have a, what, a 14-year-old? Is it 14? Yeah, I have a 14-year-old PC with this one. My goodness. Running this off, off a live USB stick. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's going to sputter a little bit, but not too bad as you see. Again, this is just an old dual core. But I wanted to show you, uh, Windows users, how this looks if you're wanting to explore or install software. All right, let's get out of the file manager. Simple, so similar to, I guess, Windows Explorer file manager, I guess, if you want to go that. Pretty basic stuff here. Your, your uh, file names here to the right and to the left, as you see here. Uh, you can change how these are, are oriented. Again, simple stuff. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. The Brave web browser is installed by default. No more, no more Firefox, and that's good. We have one shortcut by default to install Zorn. I will not. This is just for testing purposes. Let's click the Z menu and see what is installed here. Now, being this is the Pro, it is loaded. Accessories. All right. Clocks, desk flow, 
files. I won't go through all of this. Uh, ooh, secrets, a password manager for GNOME. Okay. Planify, never worry about forgetting things again. That's interesting. Solanum. I don't, I don't know what that is. Sola, Solanum. Okay. Uh, warp, fast and secure file transfer, weather and back. All right. Graphics. Uh, yeah, Blender, Darktable, a lot of multimedia stuff in this. Uh, I do use Shotwell occasionally. Let's go back. Internet, probably not much here. Yeah. Brave Web Browser, Newsflash, a news aggregator. Keep keeping up with your RSS feeds. I use this in Ubuntu and in Linux Mint. Web apps, I don't really use that much. Office, the usual. LibreOffice Suite. And, hmm. Apostrophe, an elegant, distraction-free markdown editor. I got distracted just by looking at it. Foliate, reading books in style. Interesting. Home bank. Yeah, probably not a, not apps I will use. Minder, create, develop, and visualize your ideas. That's interesting. And Valo, Valot, track time for task and project. External. Take handwritten notes. Interesting. Okay. Sound and video. Adore, digital audio workstation, Audacity I use quite a bit, record audio files, blanket, listen to different sounds. Hmm. Let's, I think I've taken a look at blanket before, haven't I, over the years? I think it's just a random noise or sound generator of different sounds. Yeah, rain, storm, wind, waves, pretty cool stuff. Sometimes I'll tell my Alexa, give me some rain noise so I can fall asleep at night. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? A Brazero, camera, drum machine, easy effects. I did install Simple Screen Recorder. Glad to see VLC is installed by default. The best media player for both Linux and Windows. It just works. And again, this is a multimedia oriented. Yeah, Handbrake, Kid and Live, very good. System tools, boot repair, hmm, okay, disks, power statistics, muz, muzg, muzg setup, setup muzg engine. I don't know what that is, to be quite honest. All right, you can take a tour, Windows app support, if you really need to use Windows applications. We'll take a look at Zorn Appearance here in a second. Zorn Connect, connecting your mobile device. Utilities, advanced network configuration, backups, calculator, uh, nothing unusual here. Yeah, a search tab here. And uh, it, yeah, I mean, this is all apps. You can, this is pretty much self explanatory, I do believe. Home, desktop, document, so on. A bunch of shortcuts here to the right. And, of course, we can click this for more power, as Arnold would say. I need more power. Thank you, Governor Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that never gets old. All right, let's go to Zorn Appearance. Make sure a simple screen record hasn't crashed here. Uh, looks like we're okay. An error here. Hopefully, this will be good enough. Okay, let's get out of that. Zorn Appearance. Well, you can. there are, what, 12 different themes here? Layouts. Layout theme, effects, jelly mode. Make your belly into jelly. Yeah. Okay, let's turn that off and turn off animations. Maybe less stress off the processor. All right. Desktop. We can add the home and trash if you want to. Windows. New window placement centered and so on. Yeah, we'll keep it there. The interface. Overlay scroll bars. I won't change, change anything here. Fonts, we'll leave that the way it is. Let's go back to, uh, what did I say? Zorn Appearance. So, Zorn Appearance. Lots to choose from here. Let's see what we have here. Click the first one here at the top left. All right, a simple menu there with the panel at the bottom. Next one over. All right. Same thing there. Third one. A little bit of different layout here. A dock at the bottom. Number four. And this is going to be, what, a full screen here? That's Those are the desktop workspaces. And, yeah, 
the full screen here. Very good. All right, it's got a that. This is number five here. Okay, another looking menu there, number six. Definitely lots of eye candy. Uh, I'm not sure if I would use any of these or... Actually, this one ain't bad here. All right, that was six. Let's go to seven. Yeah, I kind of like that one, number eight. This reminds me of the old Ubuntu. Probably will not use that. Number nine. All right, a simple menu there. Ten. Dock at the bottom, menu here. Okay. Eleven. And uh, let's see. Yeah, one, two, three columns. Hmm, this one maybe. I kind of like this one. And last but not least... And just a dock here at the bottom. I would say out of all of these, probably this one. Yeah, I got three rows here. I can still right click and do what I need to do. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Well, what can uh, what else can I say about this, guys? I've talked about Zorn before. Now, this is not the free version. This one is about, I think, $40. There is a free version if you don't need all of these apps, and that's fine. But honestly, for the money they are charging, it's not that expensive to support Team Zorn and everything they have done over the years. Zorn OS truly is a Linux masterpiece. And yes, this is definitely an option. For you to get rid of Windows 10 and try something like Zorn OS 18. I approve as a Windows user. I, I approve this. So yeah, that's it. Let, let me know what you guys think about all this. I will catch you on the next one. As always, thank you for stopping by and arrivederci.